Welcome back to Bearded Barbecue and Adventures. This is Don, and who wants pizza? That's right. Nobody can say no to pizza, and tonight that's exactly what we're doing. I got a pizza oven from Walmart a few months back that was on clearance. I paid like 80 bucks for it. It's uh, not top of the line, but it makes some pretty good pizza if you want to do it homemade. So let's get out there and get started. <laughs> Okay, this is a charcoal grill. It's got a charcoal basket in the back that uh, you can dump this in. I'm using hardwood lump charcoal just because it burns hotter and uh, you need a really hot fire for pizza. So that's what we're gonna do. Get that up to speed, then we'll dump it in the charcoal basket in the back. <clears throat> it's got the pizza stone in there. It's from uh, Expert Grills. So like I said, not top of the line, but hey, for 80 bucks, Man, that's a bargain for some uh, pizza oven. So we'll let this charcoal get up to temp and then we'll do the right, rest. Guys, it was kind of hard to uh, film and dump the charcoal in there, but I just dumped it in. But basically, this is the little charcoal basket. You can see you got the lit coals on the bottom. May not be able to see it really good or kind of glowing for me, but the rest of the charcoal's on the top. You insert that charcoal basket back into the pizza oven and then it uh, heats up. And it gets on up to around six, seven hundred degrees. Perfect for pizza bacon. All right, I have got the first pizza ready to go. So we're going to take the cover off and just kind of set it on the ground. And then we're using cornmeal on the pizza peel, and that's supposed to allow it to kind of slide off the, the peel a little bit easier. And man, that sure did work good. So we're going to put the, uh, the cover back on there. And let it go for a little bit and then we'll turn it around and rotate it and then cook it more that way okay it's been on for a couple of minutes we're going to go ahead and get the peel back in here and you're going to kind of slide the pizza out if you can get it out good and the idea is you just rotate the pizza around so it cooks evenly and so that's what we're trying to do here just kind of rotate it around and then get it back in here and let it finish cooking the rest of the way all right pizza number one i forgot to film getting out but it turned out fantastic pizza number two is going in for its cooking all right pizza number two out of the oven you kind of see it there ready to roll Last one, and I am just a pepperoni guy with extra sauce. All right, let's let that puppy do his thing. You may notice too that um, my wife and I, when we make the pizza dough, we actually didn't make it homemade, but our local grocery store sells pre-made pizza dough that comes in a ball, and you just kind of knead it out into the size and the thickness that you desire a lot of people like their thin and crispy we kind of like our pizza a little bready so that's why it's thicker than uh than probably what you're normally used to but at any rate we'll let this cook a little while and see how mine turns out all right here's kind of a, a closer up view of what's going on in there all right i've got the finished product right here little uh, personal pizzas. Mine's a little bit thicker than usual, but let's go ahead and try it. Mine is just pepperoni with a little extra sauce and cheese, so. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. And I've done a pizza a couple of times on that grill, or not grill, but pizza oven. I'm trying to figure it out. As you can burn, I got it a little bit black on one side, but actually sometimes it looks worse than it is because I kind of like the taste of the char. It kind of gives it that homemade flavor. It's just, it's just good. I can't really explain it, but um, I've used flour on the pizza peel before to try and make the pizza slide, but the cornmeal does such an amazing job and it comes off of the pizza and it doesn't stick to it and burn. So cornmeal, I forgot where I saw that, but it did an amazing job. I'm taking another bite. Mm. Fantastic and cheesy. 
I'm going to enjoy the rest of my dinner. But until next time, I'll see you guys behind the grill or behind the wheel. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great night.